Uh, councillors, board chair and board members, friends, neighbours, friends, Romans, countrymen, no, friends, neighbours and customers, welcome to the opening of the Sunny Nook Path. My name's Anthony Blom, I'm from Auckland Transport. Um, I've got the wonderful role of managing the busway facilities. Um, it's a really good job, we've got a really good team and we've got really good facilities like this to, to look after. Uh, it's my pleasure to invite Auckland Councillor George Wood to address you all. Councillor Wood has a significant history with both this project and the Northern Busway, in particular as his term, well, during his terms as Mayor of the former North Shore City. In fact, I struggled, last time I spoke about him I had to say, Your Worship, but um, I'll try not to say that this time. <laughs> um, and so we've always appreciated the great support that George has good. So please welcome Councillor Wood. Well, thank you, Anthony, and uh, Chris Darby, Chairman of the uh, Devonport Takapuna Local Board. Um, it's great to see so many people along here this, this, this morning, and especially people that have either had um, involvement in this project um, when it was when it was started quite some time ago. I can see Martin Laws over the back there, from uh, who was the previous Chairman of the Takapuna Community Board, and Grant Gillen and Jan O'Connor um, from the um, um, from the previous council, and uh, I see John Gillen here from the uh, from the uh, Kaipataki local board as well. And so it's uh, it's really great to see uh, so many of people from the, the various boards. I hope you're not over here in Kaipataki looking for any uh, any funding or favours this morning. <laughs> this is an important one for this area, but but. Um, it's really good also to see uh, all the different people that have been involved professionally in getting this facility um, up and completed. I know it's been a long time in its gestation, um, planning. I think when I was the Mayor, Anthony, you're right that uh, we did talk about, um, or we, we even had bought a house, I think it was in the wrong place. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't, the, wasn't the correct location but at the end of the street here, but that didn't go ahead. So the, the, the last council of North Shore City, they um, re-jigged re and re-bought re, re, um, property and that resulted in this, uh, in this facility or this, this walkway being able to be put in place. So I thank you uh, for the last North Shore City Council for what you did in achieving that. Um, this uh, Sunny Nook um, bus station is always one that kind of uh, um, is, is a phenomenon in its own in its own right. It was just kind of uh, kind of a, an afterthought. This little bus station that was going to be put under the Sunny Nook Bridge there um, and kind of linked in one on each side, one platform on each side, and it would be uh, you know a place for people of this area to be able to use it by using the busway. But I think it's just grown in stature and. Anthony tells me this morning that nearly a thousand people board this at this bus station going north or south which is I think a great achievement and uh, with the additional length of the busway in the future right up to Silverdale I think it'll become more and more important. Now I'd just like to also say thank you to the local residents here who have had to endure this construction site but also the fact that you're going to have a lot more people coming up and down uh, through your little street here, Kaipataki Place. And uh, Kakane, there's a Kakane Street at the top there as well. But I think that this facility will give a great improvement to the accessibility to the bus station. People will be able to walk here instead of having to go right around the long way past the, the shopping centre. Um, I know that, you know, you've only got to be um, 10 minute walk, and that's about the length I have, of walk I have to take from up in Granada um, Avenue to come down here and catch the bus. And uh, it certainly has made it a, um, a very certain and predictable um, journey which you, wherever you're going, but especially going into work in the city. In fact, if I'm kind of running late, I kind of, I, and I was thinking of taking my car, I'll change my mind and actually um, use the bus because I know I'm going to get into the city at the time that I have to be there. So this this facility is um, will be great for the future. 
and you can see that this area has changed um, since this busway station has been here in relation to the development that's happening, happening around here and I think that's going to be something which uh, no doubt Chris will talk about when he speaks in relation to uh, the future development and the makeup of, of this area. So I want to congratulate Auckland Transport for um, getting the project uh, completed. Um, the contractors, is it Opie Construction was the contractors here for the job they've done. The planners, the engineers, the designers, I think Bill Strickland somewhere here who's done this project and he says he's going to be improving the footpaths around here which is also great. So congratulations everybody and uh, let Sunny Nook uh, bus station uh, improve in the future. Thank you very much. Well thank you George um, and welcome along everybody, all the people of Sunny Nook in particular and, uh, and uh, particularly the people of Cavity Place uh, who have endured uh, construction here for a, a few months uh, and um, thank you for your tolerance. So I'm, I'm Chris Darby, I chair the local board of Auckland Council for Devonport Takapuna which covers this area and this has uh, been a really important project for us. We've been on the case of Auckland Transport making sure this one gets uh, out of the ground and underway and completed and, and today it is completed. But look I'd like to just um, uh, thank and acknowledge all the political support, my, my peers, my colleagues uh, and, and people from both sides of, of this uh, divide between the two boards of Kaipataki and Devonport Takapuna local boards. Uh, and that's John Gillen and, uh, and Grant Gillen from that side at Kaipataki and, and Jan, Jan O'Connor, my colleague at Devonport Takapuna and the rest of our board, um, Anne Hartley, uh, Councillor Anne Hartley who's just texted me and she couldn't make it this morning, she's at something else. Together with George, it's really been about a partnership politically getting these projects up because we need to work together. That's the governing body and the local boards and that's how we've done it. And before us it was the former North Shore City Council and the community board of Takapuna and Martin Laws is with us. Give us a wave Martin, there he is over there. Martin was the chair of the former board and it's not any one person that's actually managed to get this across the line. It's actually everybody working together. But this is a, a great little project and it's one of, one of those little interventions that has uh, low capital cost but uh, it delivers a tremendous benefit and this is, it's calculated that it, if you're living up there in Salabanca or way across to Sequoia it'll take about 850 metres off your journey and uh, some of those journeys have been by car because uh, some would find 850 uh, metres a, 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 bit of a bit of a hike. So those car journeys have been going down through Sunny Nook Road and adding to that congestion so it actually alleviates that congestion. But it doesn't just do um, that, it actually, yes, it connects those communities more directly to the busway, but there's a nice little bonus being achieved here. It, uh, it actually achieves a connection from those communities through the busway, through to Wairau, to the cinemas, to the burger joints, um, to Totra Vale. And I think that's an important uh, linkage because this motorway system actually unfortunately severs these communities that were once joined. Uh, so it helps to cement that back again. But uh, look, this is part of a big project and a project that is the most successful public transport project probably in uh, New Zealand's, not just Auckland's history, but New Zealand's uh, last 30, 40, 50 years. And that is this busway project that Anthony Blom has championed uh, for some years now. Uh, it is doing something like 2.3 million passengers a year, uh, 5.7 when you, that's the Northern Express is doing 2.3 million, 5.7 when you add up all the feeder services that are coming down it as well, going to Auckland University, Takapuna and, or, or, and going north as well. So it's a magnificent project and uh, one that uh, any contemporary city needs and now we've got it. So uh, it, is, it is a terrific uh, testimony to those that committed this uh, wider Auckland city to uh, t taking up the challenge of delivering mass transit uh, and uh, we've got it here in our busway and on the other side of the bridge we're starting to develop it with rail. So it started in 1990 I found out, boy has it taken a while to get this thing opened, it opened in 2008, um, 2008 and here we are in 2012 opening another little part of it. Um, and I'd, I'd like to just go back and acknowledge some of the people that thought of this project and uh, 
She's not here. Izzy Kennedy, I think she's in the Waikato now or some, somewhere like that. Izzy Kennedy was a, at North Shore City a, an absolute champion of the walking environment. And uh, I remember work, working with her in about 2005 and, and she talked about the importance of getting people to walk to stations and getting those other active connections, cycling to stations, not just driving uh, your cars. So people like that have actually been the real champions of, of you know, working with the politicians to get things like this done. Um, we, George mentioned the land purchases. We made a purchase over there, I think it was 2007. We, we tried to get this link and it wasn't available and then it became available. We stepped it up and I believe we sold the other one and we sold it at a, a small profit. So uh, good, for, good for the ratepayers. And here we are today with a more direct legible link. Um, this construction started in 2000, probably late 11. We had a bit of uh, difficulty and uh, there was a bit of a, a, um, a false start in announcing our opening of this, of this link because uh, Auckland Transport unfortunately went into the ground over here uh, where the, the piles support this bridge and they found a lot of soft ground and rock and they had to go back and look at the methodology of how to construct it. It was a bit, bit of going back to the drawing board once they thought they'd left the drawing board. But uh, big thanks to all, all those involved that solved those problems. It's high quality uh, and, and it's deserving of this community of Sunny Nook, all the people from Cavity Place and beyond. And uh, you, you absolutely deserve this link. <laughs> Look, finally, I'd like to thank, um, and George has touched on a few names, um, but these projects, um, th they, they rely on some expert skills, some really e excellent skills, and they have been brought to this project and uh, are entirely evident. Yesterday I was here and uh, I saw this guy walking around with a backpack and an orange vest and he was down on his knees inspecting a bolt and it was uh, Daryl Lim from Applied Project Solutions and Daryl and uh, Bill Strickland from Auckland Transport, uh, they've been here on a daily basis. Uh, Peter Neve led it at the planning stage, throw your hands up Peter. Peter and Daryl, where are you Daryl? And then Bill Strickland, throw your hand up Bill and um, all those people and Opie, where's somebody here from Opie? Um, they're the guys that have been actually making this project happen in double quick time um, and solving those problems. So big thanks to those people. Um, and lastly I'd like to really thank the absolute champion of the overall busway and I think he'll be the champion of the new Amity busway as well. And that's, that's this guy here, Anthony Blom, who for many years now has made this whole project hum. And uh, you can't let this project uh, lapse for one or two minutes or five minutes because it has a, a tremendous flow-on effect. Uh, and this, this project is testimony to why we need a city rail link and I think uh, let's not let that one take, uh, what is it, 18 years to open. Let's get cracking with that one and uh, I think that one, like the Northern Busway, um, a must for a contemporary city like Auckland and for us to be the most livable city in the world, we have to have the most livable transport systems and that's mass transport uh, and big spines where you can move 50,000 people per lane per hour. So fantastic work to all those involved but for, for Sunny Nook and the people of Capity Place, uh, this is yours, yours to own, yours to use from now on, uh, and congratulations to you all. Thanks George and Chris. Um, Chris has been far too generous with me. The reason the busway works so well is people like Stella who's standing here, who's um, been helping run the busway since inception. She and the rest of the team allow me to sit back and put my feet up while things work really well, so thank you. Um, as mentioned, passenger numbers on the busway have grown spectacularly since it opened in 2008. And it's projects like this which will allow us, you know, this is a small one, but it's one of the things that will allow us to allow the transport passenger numbers to grow. Um, Council have set us a wonderful objective of doubling passenger transport numbers in the next 10 years, I think it is, and we just need to keep doing things that make it easy for people to use it. A lot of people have been thanked. Um, this project was more than the, the walkway, there's another part of it as well. Um, and I remember back in North Shore days, Councillor O'Connor, Jan, was very, very concerned that we hadn't provided facilities here that we had at the other stations. And um, as part of this project, we've been able to put in a public toilet facility. And um, so Jan, your push on that's 
provided funding and we've been able to incorporate that, so thank you. Um, I'd like to thank Bill and his project team for, um, for delivering this to us because, you know, without a good project team you don't get anything built. Um, and we're all standing here in the cold, so one of the key things to do here is to actually open it. 